seen some people finish this as well. But, uh, some space or they cover for the thing. Alright, so what do you do? Well, 
Uh, whilst they are trying to work out the, how to work the, the DVD, I, I'll just change the sequence of events a little bit by just inviting uh, Pastor Mike and uh, his lovely wife, Gina, to come up here and tell you guys a little story of how Reggie and Margie uh, came to their church and how they met the Lord. Pastor Mike. Um, I'm just going to give a little short synopsis of Marjorie's spiritual walk. Um, it's been an awesome journey to be able to share your spiritual journey with Marjorie. Um, it's been, okay, 2006. It was February 2006, and we were having our first, uh, baptismal service at Ridley Beach in February. And we thought it was really warm. And the first time I met Marjorie, I knew she was new from the Philippines, but she had on a heavy coat, a scarf, and was sitting there about to freeze. <laughs> so I was like, oh, she's fresh from the Philippines. She's so cold. And we thought it was hot because it's our summer. Um, but going back, before she came, we were having ladies Bible study. And her Auntie Vivian had been praying for you. And we've been praying for you, Reggie, at our Bible study. So long before I met you, we were praying for you. And then you started coming to church occasionally, and you and Reggie would come. And then on Father's Day of that year, you came, and you trusted the Lord as your Savior. And it's just been an awesome journey ever since then um, to watch Marjorie grow. She started coming to our ladies' Bible study, and we were studying the Proverbs 31 woman, and there was a lot of things in there she was really struggling with. <laughs> and then um, she was wanting to know how to be a godly wife and what she could do. And so Mike and I started meeting with her and Reggie one-on-one, -on -one, and she was sitting there and she said, Miss Gina, Reggie needs to do this. Reggie needs to change this. Reggie this. And I said, Marjorie, let's stop, and let's see what the Lord wants you to do. I said, before Reggie can change, I said, the Lord's got to change your heart and work in your life. So she said, I'll try. And she did. She was so willing. And all the Lord needed was a willing heart. And he has molded her and he has shaped her in such a beautiful way. And one of the things as a young believer that I saw in her was going to be her faithfulness to the Lord. And she has been so faithful. She got a job working for McDonald's. And she had the night shift on Saturday night. And I, we talked to her, said, now Marjorie, that's going to be so hard. You won't be able to come to church on Sundays. She said, no, Miss Gina, I'll be there. She got off work at 7 o'clock on Sunday morning after working all night. She was at church every Sunday morning. She never missed a Sunday morning. And I was so touched by that. And the Lord has blessed her for her faithfulness. And just to see... The beauty of their marriage is just such a blessing, Marjorie. Thank you for sharing that with us. Well, Reggie and Marjorie, you've been so special in our lives. Our church, when we very first began as uh, Seven Oaks Baptist Church, we were just, as Gina said, only about 25 or 30 people. And on that Sunday morning when we had the baptism, and that was the very first Sunday we had met Marjorie. We had known Reggie. I've uh, oh, been praying for Reggie for, for quite some time. And uh, that Sunday morning when we met them, then we didn't think, well, we, we won't see them too much around. But one day, Tim Tenney and I, we were having lunch at Nando's. And there we saw Reggie and Marjorie sitting right across from where we were. And Tiz and I, we said, let's go over and talk. That's, that's Reggie, and that's, that's his new bride, Marjorie. They haven't been here long. We went over and we began to talk to them. And it was just before Father's Day. And I said, why don't, why don't you guys come to church with us this Sunday? I said, it's Father's Day. We have a special Father's Day message. And no more did I say that when Marjorie's elbow goes into Reggie's side. She says, you're gone. We're going to go. You're going to learn how to be a good father. <laughs> And I thought, oh boy, <laughs> this is this is going to be good. And they came that Sunday, and that's the Sunday that the Lord began speaking to Marjorie's heart and to Reggie's at the same time. And it wasn't too long after that, after Marjorie had trusted the Lord and Reggie had rededicated himself, 
Marjorie came up and she wanted to be baptized. Now that's a special time for us when we were just a small group because we would go to the beach for the baptism. And Marjorie's, Marjorie's the only person that I've ever really baptized twice in the same dunking. Because what happened was as Marjorie went down under the water, she didn't quite go all the way and she was coming back up. So with her mouth open and eyes, I dunked her again. <laughs> And this time when she came up, she had that same elbow, but this time it went into my side. <laughs> and she says, I'm going to get you for that. <laughs> and so Marjorie, I apologize for that, but you're, you're baptized. <laughs> Saved and baptized, and that's the way it ought to be. And the Lord really has done a, a great work in their lives and in their hearts. We have enjoyed the times that we've had Bible studies, the times that we have just been able to sit down together as a husband and wife, and as a husband and wife, sit down and talk and pray and study the Lord's Word. And you know, Reggie and Marjorie, I see the Lord working in your life. I challenge you, put that very same thing back into another couple. Take, take what the Lord has shown you. And you be willing and submissive to be able to teach that as someone brings, as the Lord brings someone into your life. You can do it. The two of you have a good foundation. You have a love for the Lord and a love for each other. And I believe the Lord wants to use the two of you in a great way. And I think that He will. And that's our prayer as well. So congratulations to you, Reggie and Margie. You're so special to us. Thank you, Pastor Mike and, and Gina. Uh, it's not good news when you see me here again. <laughs> and I'm thinking very hard to say something intelligent, so funny, uh, whilst waiting for the computer setup. Uh, how about another sermon? I've got uh, a list of, of almost 12 secrets to a successful marriage. I'm going to share three with you. Anybody interested in the other eight? No, the other nine. <laughs> All right, I, I'm sure you're not keen. You're not keen on that. Okay, I, I've said enough things for the computer to start up. All right, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>